Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you, get up there, how to find, change, or remove the number of days to go back to the previous version of Windows. You will see this after you upgrade to Windows 10 from another operating system, or you will also have 10 days if you do a major feature update, which is almost yearly. Really, really easy to do. If you've never used PowerShell before, that's what we're going to use. Don't be worried. There's nothing you can hurt here, so go ahead and stick that toe in the water and play along. Windows key plus X. Hit Windows PowerShell as admin. Click yes. I'm going to scroll this window down so you can see what I'm doing. Check the video description for this tutorial, and you will find this code right here. Or you can type it right in if you can get it all in there. Otherwise, highlight it, right-click, and choose Copy. Go back to your PowerShell window and use Control-V to paste. All this is going to do is show you how many days are remaining. As you can see, we have 10 days. Now, next up, we want to change the number of days. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I used 30. I tried 60. When I got to 90, it didn't work. So my guess would be up to 60. And besides that, that should cover pretty much everybody since you only have 10, 60 is a lot of days. Control V, same thing as above. You can actually stop short to change your number of days. For example, you could stop here, copy that, and let me show you, and then change it to any day you want. So let's say 45 days. Once you see the operation completed successfully, scroll back up, grab this code again, copy it again paste it again then you press enter and just confirm that you are now at 45 days there you have it now if you'd like to remove it and honestly there's no real reason to do it I mean 10 days is nothing you could type this in here's the other thing I've had it work and I've had it not work so I'm making no promises once you change the day you may have to come back up here and run this code again and change it back to 10 but again I don't see any reason for it I'm even going to show you probably won't work it's worked for me on and off. One time it worked, another time it didn't. Windows, baby. Now watch this. We'll see if we got the 45 still. But again, there's no harm in it. There you go. So I have it work sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But don't sweat it. Anywho, here's the important thing to remember. If you're trying to clean up your system a little bit, say you want to delete the Windows uh, .old folder, which is there, you may have a Windows 10 upgrade folder if you upgraded from 7 or 8, for example. This does nothing but change the number of days it will not delete those folders so right here in our similar links how to delete the windows old folder how to delete the windows 10 upgrade folder and actually some of these here i added in because they're related to different things like windows update for example so there you have it. it's a pretty easy way to just you know you hear about these these feature updates coming in and you know how microsoft can occasionally screw the pooch so what you do here is just change it to 30 days if you're really interested in trying the feature update and go ahead and install it. You know you can always roll back. There you have it. How to find, change, or sometimes remove the number of days to go back to the previous version of Windows. Bottom right corner is the Major Geeks logo where you can click and subscribe. We've recently cleared 15,000 subscribers at the time of this video, and we can't thank you enough for that. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.